Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I wanted to show you some uh, stuff I'm doing to save some money using my 3D printer. Working on uh, making uh, curtain rods and such, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. So, uh, I made these curtain rods, and uh, it's kind of cool because I designed this, uh, this, I don't know what you call it, the holder. And you just put a drywall screw here and on the other side. And this, I think that was one of my first designs that I ever made. This was totally me making that. And uh, this is, <clears throat> I believe, half-inch conduit. I think it's called EMT. You go to, like, Home Depot, and it's electrical conduit. And it's really inexpensive, and it's really strong. Um, and it's not too heavy. And you get about 10 feet for, like, $3. So... This is like, I don't know, five foot piece or something, and so it's almost like a dollar or something, maybe dollar ninety or something like that. And then the clip, of course, was just, uh, I don't know, probably a buck to print, if that, a dollar. Made two of them. Probably 50 cents each, because there's not a lot of plastic in there. And then I just went to like the dollar store and picked up these, so you get all these in a packet. I think I got that for a dollar. It couldn't have been much more than that. And, uh, so, if you go to try to buy curtain rods, they're actually kind of expensive for what you're getting. And then, this is where you just happen to have this. So. And if I did it, should I could put a decorative um, little cap on it and then paint it. And you couldn't even tell this was just a like a $5 project there. Um, and if you check out, like even at Walmart, the cheapest curtain rods are like $15. So, it's a pretty good savings there. I'll show you another one I'm working on. So hopefully the light's not too bright here. It's been a sunny day today and it's early in the morning. The sun's kind of shining through. But uh, this is a pretty big window and I needed to make a, I want to make a curtain rod for that and it's kind of shallow. I'm kind of avoiding shining the camera or the light straight in the camera there. But um, kind of same concept. Um, and this would be probably a pretty expensive curtain rod to try to get. And uh, this is not the curtain rod but I was just I just printed these off of Thingiverse, um, and they're nice because that's my game plan is to uh, just use end caps on this. And again, it's got little holes for um, putting like drywall screws in there to attach it to the wall. And this this is a press fit. I could pull up, pop that off. Here, I'll show you the. Here's the pole I'm going to use, and this is a. I believe this was a ten footer. And it fits, I kind of measured it out and it just, ironically, just fits just perfect across there. Actually, I'm making that up, I'm sorry, this is an, like an 8 footer. And when I was at Home Depot, I just bought 10 feet. And that's how I got that little piece right there. Is uh, I just had them cut that off for me, I just asked them real politely and they cut it off for me. And I didn't have to buy the pipe cutting tool. Anyway, so that's my game plan, is put those caps on the end of this and just hang it over there. So... Kind of the, this is probably a pretty short video, um, I'm not sure, I just shot it in segments when I had time, I was kind of busy this week, and uh, so I kind of chopped it all up, so I probably got a different shirt on than the beginning of this video, because it's probably made on a different day. But anyways, the point of this was just to kind of show you what you could do with a 3D printer, and how um, it starts saving time, or sa saving, well it does save time, and uh, money, because like, even if you could pick up like the... Um, let's say they sold those clips at a good price there. Um, th you know, you have to drive to the store. It'll probably take you 50 minutes to drive down there, pick it up. And then it depends on the line, at, like if you got it at Walmart or something like that. And it probably takes you just like 30 minutes to an hour to print out something small like that. So you kind of save yourself a little bit of gas there. And then material-wise, with the plastic, a 32 kilogram, excuse me, a 2 kilogram spool costs like $30. But the amount of plastic you're using on that is not very much. And uh, so it probably works out less than a dollar in uh, plastic that you print for probably both of them. Um, so it's kind of neat to actually make stuff. The first one that I showed you, I actually designed that clip myself. And then the second one was uh, one I found on Thingiverse. And I'll put a link to both my design and, and the, um, the one I downloaded, the one that the end cap's on. It's pretty nicely done. So I was pretty pleased with that one. Anyway, so I hope this, uh, maybe this video inspired you guys if you're in, just starting out on 3D printer. Or it's kind of just neat to start making real world stuff that affects you around you. And it's kind of neat, especially when you design it yourself and make it. It's just kind of really cool feeling. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. And thank you for watching.